Uh, let's try that again because that wasn't working properly on full screen for some reason. It was only getting the small picture for some reason. I don't know. Maybe it's just being weird. Why did I put my Twitch alert back in the same place as they should have been? Put that there. Yeah, thank you. Do one last little thing before I start. Uh, yeah. So I said the. This is the Secret of Monkey Island Special Edition. Uh, it's a remake of the very original uh, Secret Monkey Island, which was made by LucasArts. Now I remember playing this when I was very, very little, when we had the Amiga. Uh, I need to get out of this because uh, I know how to play the game. <laughs> so let's go! My name's Guybrush Threepwood, and I want to be a pirate. Yikes! Don't sneak up on me like that. Um, I'm over this way. Ah, well then, Thriftweed. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. I see. So, you want to be a pirate, eh? You look more like a flooring inspector. But if you're serious about pirating, Go talk to the pirate leaders. You'll find them in the scum bar. Gosh, thanks. I'll do that. Bye now. I'm off to seek my fortune. Good luck. Let's quickly have one look at that one second. Speech classic. Is there one that switches between? I'm sure there is. Must be this one, I think. We'll see. Um, where did you say those pirate leaders were? Scum bar. Right. Thanks. So it doesn't have the button to do it. I mean, I didn't know in the Xbox version you could switch between the two different uh, different thingies. So one more look real quickly. Cursor, primary select, default select, hints, cut, skip, cutscene, verbs, inventory, menu. Ah, we go, hop, stop, F10. Why did I, I can't see that for some reason? Because I want to show you guys what the original game looked like as well while playing this. Like, amazing. Like, here right now, I've switched to so you can see 
how old this used to look. You can see an ordinary click the point. And the moon wasn't as big, you know, it was only a tiny moon. But in this one they made it so much bigger. I think it even actually gives you the old star music as well once you uh, alter the thing. It's like this now one. You can see the difference and how much they really it completely. But it's still very, very, very amazing. What be ye wanting, boy? I want to be a pirate. So what? Why bother us? Hey, don't forget we're short on help because of this whole chuck thing. So? So, no pirates means no swag, and no swag means no grog, and we're getting dangerously low on grog. Hmm. Do you have any special skills? I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Well, all right. But you don't become a pirate just by asking. You'll have to go through... The Three Trials! Uh... What three trials are those? There are three trials every pirate must pass. You must master the sword. And the art of thievery. And the quest. The what? Treasure hunting, you sea urchin. Right! You must prove yourself in each of these three areas. Swordplay, thievery, and a, a treasure huntery. Then return with proof that you've done it. And then you must drink grog with us. Grog! Tell me more about mastering the sword. First, get here your sword. You must seek out and defeat the sword master. Someone in town can probably direct you. Oh! You want to find somebody to train you first. <laughs> Imagine trying to take on a sword master <laughs> without any training. <laughs> I'll just be running along now. Leave us to our grog. Come back later and tell us how you're doing. Play the way to go. Meanwhile, 
deep beneath Monkey Island, the ghost pirate LeChuck ship lies anchored in a river of lava. Captain LeChuck, sir. I... Ah, there's nothing like the hot winds of hell blowing in your face. No, oh, sir. Nothing like it. <laughs> uh, sir, I... It's days like this that make you glad to be I'm dead. Like what this part looks like. Oh, oh in in yes, sir. Game, so. Glad. See how different it looks. Obviously, had one picture frame rather than two. He that you and had to capture my ship that murdered me and everyone on board. <laughs> yes, yes, sir. Lucky. Glad to hear it. When I was playing the expedition. Now, what was it you disturbed me for? Or was switching between the old uh, colony, so... Yes, sir. Just well, you see, we might have a problem on Melee Island. Problem? What possible problem could there be? I've got those sissy pirates so scared of the sea, they're afraid to take a bath. Well, there seems to be a new pirate in town. Actually, he's a pirate wannabe. Young, inexperienced, probably nothing to worry about. Don't know why I bothered you with it. <laughs> I'd rather take care of myself. Wait! I'll handle this personally. My plans are too important to be messed up by amateurs. Yes, sir. So I go this way because I need to go to the surface. Can't do nothing about any money in my pocket. in the cannon, but the gunpowder makes me sneeze. Well, I can do it. I hurt my hand taming the lions last week. <laughs> I hardly think that little scratch compares to my chronic allergy. You get in the cannon. You don't have any allergies, you faker. You get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. No, you get in the cannon. Slacker. Loser. Raffian. Flop. Weasel, Weevil, Miscreant, Tony, Nerdwell, Scuffler! I'm selling these fuck. Say there, son, how do you like the chance? A once in a lifetime chance. To perform an amazing feat. A death defying feat. Well, not so death defying, really. A uh, dangerous feat. No, not dangerous at all. An easy feat. But exciting. With the amazing. Adventurous. Acrobatic. And exceedingly well known. Fabulous. Flying. Perugini brothers. That's us. My brother Alfredo. And my brother Bill. Sound good? Good. It's very simple, really. See that cannon over there? All you have to do is get in the cannon. And we'll shoot you out of it. Across the room. Quite safe, actually. So, what do you say? I'll give another look at uh, what this circuit is for, like. It's very similar. How much will you pay me? How about 478 pieces of aid? Okay, sounds good. Have you got a helmet? Of 
course I have a helmet. What sort of idiot do you take me for? Well, let's have it. We want to be sure. That it's safe. Wouldn't want you hurt. No sorry! Ah, that will work as a helmet. Now we can do the trick. Step right over here, son. Now, put on your helmet. And get in the cannon. And we'll take care of the rest. Echo! Echo! Ah! It works! Oh, I'm so relieved. Hey! Are you okay? W where's my helmet? He's alright! Hooray! We are spared an embarrassing and financially debilitating lawsuit. Here is your money, sir. He'd be like that. Mm. Here it is. It's time to change the aim a bit. I'll try it next. No, I'll do it next. No, me! No, me! Slacker! Loser! Ruffian! Fop! Excuse me, but do you have a cousin named Sven? No, but I once had a barber named Dominique. Close enough. Let's talk business. You want to buy a map to the legendary lost treasure of Melee Island? Only one in existence. Rare. Very rare. Only 100 pieces of eight. I'll take it. It'll make a swell gift. There you go. You made a wise decision. Nugget lost. just this one thing what may I help you with son <laughs> now I remember in the original game when you got to this point I didn't realize that was actually a woman because I used to think that black bit there made had to a beard but bear in mind I was a kid at the time wait don't say anything I can sense your name is is Guybrush. Guybrush nose hair. No. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Am I not right? Wow, that was amazing. Do you know any other tricks? I do not deal in tricks. What I know is the truth. So? 
My mind reading skills tell me it is your future you are interested in. Are you certain this is something you really wish to know? Yes, tell me everything that's going to happen to me. I am getting a vision. I see you taking a voyage, a long voyage. I see you captaining a ship. Yeah. I see. What? See what? I see a giant monkey. Yikes. I see you inside the giant monkey. Oh, gross. Wait. It's all becoming clear. Your journey will have many parts. You will see things better left unseen. You will hear things better left unheard. You will learn things better left unlearned. What kind of things? I hate surprises. No. The time is not right to know. When you know your purpose, come see me. I will let you know then. Yikes! <laughs> you notice over here there's the uh, chicken and the curry on the sign. Now I don't think that was originally... There was nothing originally on that sign in the old game. All these new things. Ahoy there, fancy pants. Let's see, show us all the asking for some breakfast. I don't have all day. Got a good deal on swords right now. What do you want? About this sword. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Best hundred pieces of aid you ever spent. What else do you want? About this shovel. Yeah, what about it? I want it. Great. Oh, it'll pay for itself, believe me. Yeah, you'll dig up 75 pieces of eight in no time. But hey, save some treasure for the rest of us, would you? <laughs> <laughs> what else do you want? I think I'd just like to browse. Whatever. I said I need to go and find Otis first and talk to him before I try to, uh... But there's a suspicious noise in the alley. Hello? Anybody in here? Hello? You know, bad things could happen to a person in a dark, deserted alley like this one. And at this time of night, nobody would be around to see it. Oh, really? That's interesting. <laughs> well, see ya. Now, why are you in such a hurry? I'd better get your name. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, and I was just leaving. Listen, Peepwood. Threepwood. Guybrush Threepwood. Well, whatever your name is, listen. I'm the sheriff around here. <laughs> Sheriff Fester Shinetop. Take it from me. This is a bad time to be visiting Melee Island. A very bad time. My advice to you is to find somewhere else to take your vacation. Somewhere safer. Boy, I feel much better knowing there's an officer of the law around. <laughs> Different. 
Why am I still having the beauty music? Dun, 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 dun. You gotta get me out of here! I'm a victim of society! Not to mention halitosis. Ugh. Hey, it's hard to keep my breath minty fresh when there's nothing to eat in here but rats. <laughs> Ahoy there, fancy pants. What do you want? I could really use a breath mint. Whew, you're telling me. Here, take one. Please, take the whole roll. That'll be one piece of eight. What else do you want? I'm looking for the Swordmaster of Melee Island. The Swordmaster of Melee Island? Hmm. Now, I don't know. See, nobody knows the whereabouts of her secret hideout. Nobody except me. I'd have to go and ask her if it's okay to show you the way. Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there. Once. Be right back. And don't touch anything! I better just stay back here and eavesdrop. Hello again, Carla. I thought I told you to get lost. Actually, I'm here on the business. This kid come into my store, see? Face it, you crusty old lech. You'd make any excuse just to come out here and bother me. Yeah, I guess so. Well, cut it out. I'm sick of it. Take a hike. And don't come out here again. <laughs> Melee Island tourist attraction. Hey, it's your loss, baby. Yeah, right. Now scram. Why didn't he talk the hair just yet? Because I have a very sword fighting thing. <laughs> I think you could go here because there's something I need to get.
my night bot. Because my night bot wasn't in this room. Uh, so one second. How much is the toll? Well, what have you got? Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. I want something that'll attract attention, but have no real importance. I'll try to find something like that. Bye. You have three chances to give me <laughs> what I want. Then I eat ya. None shall pass. Ah, a red herring. Pass. I think I'll knock. It'd only be polite. What do you want, you wimpy little spineless maggot? <laughs> Could you train me to be better than the Swordmaster? Better than the Swordmaster? You? <laughs> you could never be half the sword fighter Carly is. Even with hours of hard work and sweat and blood. I remember fighting side by side with Carla at Port Royal. The local constabulary had us cornered. It looked like we were done for, but then she said... But I digress. You just don't have what it takes. I do so have what it takes. You do not. I do so. You do not. I do so. Oh, I like your spirit. I'll do what I can. Of course, it'll cost you. Did you see my sign? I usually charge 30 pieces of eight for a big job like this one. What do you got? Well, I've got 30 pieces of eight. Say no more, say no more. Let's see your sword. Okay, check it out. Yes, this is a nice one. Let's get to it. Okay, you maggot. Why don't you whip that sword out and let's see what you can do with it. Boy, you fight like a dairy farmer. I usually don't waste my time with vermin like yourself. But seeing as this LeChuck thing has put a cramp on business, I got no choice. I need the money. Yes, I can see this is gonna take some special measures. Just want you to know, I don't do this with everyone. It's only because I feel that special student-mentor pieces of eight bonding that I'm going to these lengths. I'm gonna put you up against... the machine. The machine? Is this gonna hurt? Y 
Yikes. Come at me. Don't be afraid. You won't hurt me. Use your forte against the foible. Use your forte against the foible. <laughs> Distance! Distance! No! Beat first, then lunge! Hours later. You're starting to get the hang of it. More hours later. Not bad. You've got good form. Now I'm gonna let you in on the true secret of sword fighting. Sword fighting is kinda like making love. It's not always what you do, but what you say. Any fool pirate can swing a sharp piece of metal around and hope to cut something. But the pros, they know just when to cut their opponent with an insult. One that catches them off guard. You see, kid, your wit's gotta be twice as sharp as your sword. Let's try a couple of insults out, shall we? Okay, imagine this. We're fighting up a storm. Just like Carla and I were doing at Port Royal. There's a sudden break in the fighting, and I say to you... You fight like a dairy farmer! You respond with... So's your mother. <laughs> I can see we've got a lot of work to do here. You should have responded with something like... How appropriate! You fight like a cow. You see, it's razor-sharp wit like that that wins fights. Let's try another. Imagine this. You're trapped up against a wall. My sword just slashed two cuts into your face. I say, soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. You respond with... How appropriate. You fight like a cow. No, no, no. That was the <laughs> response from the last insult. Doesn't even make sense when used here. Ah. Oh. A correct response to soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab would have been something like First, you better stop waving it around like a feather duster. See? Razor sharp. Now, I suggest you go out there and learn some insults. I can't help but feel like I've been ripped off. I'm sure you're feeling something similar. Now let's fight some pirates. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you better stop waving it like a feather duster. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never learnt them. I don't have that response. Oh, yeah? You make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Now, the key to sword Are fighting you you is win? pretty much you have to lose a good couple of times to get the insult, to then use them back to get the one to you. This better be important. So it's losing and then succeeding. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. There are no words for how disgusting you are. <laughs> yes, there are. You just never learned them. <laughs> My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. You got that job as janitor after all. Oh, yeah? 
I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Oh, yeah? Uncle! Uncle! Move out of the way, or I cut me way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? I didn't give it up. Oh, you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. You have the manners of a beggar. I just wanted to make sure you felt comfortable with How appropriate. You fight like a cow. <laughs> I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. How oh, is that? Something about having a hemorrhoid or something? Oh, yeah? Uncle! Uncle! Whatever you want, you scurvy lover. And usually there was an achievement on the Xbox, I believe, which was to get all the insults. For really fucking I believe. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. This has to be one of my favorite parts in the, the sword fighting part. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you It's all. You have the manners of a beggar. I don't have that one yet. Oh, yeah? I spoken with apes more polite than you. Glad to see you visit your family reunion. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare this is to probably die. Probably the one that does take the longest if you want to get all the insults. But you don't necessarily need to get all of these ones to actually complete the sword master pipe. You just gotta hope that you have the right ones when she actually throws the uh, insults. You have the manners of a beggar. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Come on, give me the uh. This one to do. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Oh, your hemorrhoids are flaring up hemorrhoids. again, eh? <laughs> this is the end for you, yeah. you gutter crawling oh, cur. I've got a tip for you, get the point. Oh, yeah? Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Did you run that fast? Oh, yeah? Yikes, nice move. <laughs> you probably noticed that I'm actually saying all the uh, comebacks because be I important. know what the comebacks are. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to I'm die. Say how much I fight this game. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. Oh, you rubber, you are glue. Mm. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. No, I want you to give me the responses. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I am rubber, you are glue. I give up, you win. We so have to like win against these three pirates to get a chance to have a master anyway as well. Whatever you want. You scurvy lover. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. 
Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, yeah. Come on, give me the ones I want. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. And I've got a little tip for you. Yeah. Get the point. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. Oh, yeah? I give up. You win. I beat another one where you get told, oh, you're good enough to fight the uh, sword master. They want to try and get this better themselves. be important. My name is Guybrush Three I like to get Prepare to die. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast. Yeah. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. Yeah, no trouble if you ever use them. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. What one did you give me now? You gave me the, uh... The one I matched my brain to you. That all. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. Oh, yeah? You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Uncle, uncle! What you be wanting, you scurvy lubber? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. Soon you'll be wearing my sword like a shish kebab. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I am rubber, you are glue. <laughs> you make me want to puke. You make me think somebody already did. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Nuh-uh. -uh. It's like, why did you want to borrow one? You make me think somebody already did? Yikes! Nice move! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Streetwood. Prepare to die. Uh, okay, so I got. I don't have handkerchief, I don't think. I have that one, that one, that one, that one, that one, that one. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever brain. used them. There are no words for how disgusting you are. Just 
see, I should have this one. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Now, when you come across the Swordmaster, the Swordmaster doesn't actually use the same insults. She has her own very own insults. Uh, there's what I have. Uh, have you stopped day. wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow no, one? I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope you learned the picking on her. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. Mm. Where did my sword go? Move out of the way, or I cut my way through. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. So, you got that job as janitor, after all. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Uh, I am missing eight star. I haven't heard the dog one yet. I, can't use the one. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. I think I'm probably giving that one up. Uh, Sitting down one. Um, I have words one. I've spoken with apes more polite than you. I'm glad to hear you attended your family reunion. I get that one. Now I think I've only got two more literally to get the. You uh, have the manners thing. of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Wow, you're good enough to fight the Swordmaster. Yes, but I don't have all the insults. Give me the insults. I want them all. Come on, give me, give me, give me, give me. Better be important. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I didn't actually show you guys today what this originally looked like. If I show you now, this is how the original Swordfight area would have looked like. <laughs> Obviously, each part would kind of look very similar. Uh, let's see. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. Oh, yeah! There's one to do that dog, isn't there? Really? <laughs> you fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate! You fight like a cow. You have the manners of a beggar. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Always getting the last ones is always the trickiest part because you never seem to want to give them to you. You're no match for my brains, you poor fool. I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. I want to use dog smart with you. I've oh. heard you were a contemptible oh. sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. <laughs> wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Die, this better be important. 
My name is Guyber hey, Streetwood. Prepare to die. Happy birthday again. Hope you're having a good birthday. Oh, come on. I want this. Oh, I want you to put up literally more insults to get. You make me think somebody already not giving already them for me. <laughs> I once owned a dog that was Thank smarter you. than you. He must have taught you everything you know. You run that fast? I have to come back to him. I need to find the one out that's for the star. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? Why did you want to borrow one? Why? Did you want to borrow one? <gasps> I haven't actually been playing this for that long and I've already got into the sword fighting part. Yeah, I sat there when you were watching, when you were doing this, I was like quoting every single comeback that you had to do and I was like, oh, I really want to tell you what the comeback is. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I love the sword fighting part. Oh, yeah. No, come on, you need to give me that insult. Two. Two responses. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. You run that fast? <laughs> Yikes, nice move. I always found this was the best spot to stand in for the pirate insult, but this better always be get pirates coming up to you. My name is Guy. Prepare to die. I hope I sound a lot more louder than I did in my last game because I can't really turn the microphone up any louder than I have done um, other than just turning the game down and hoping that that, that works, you know. <laughs> uh, I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking, I'm shaking! I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop yes. picking your nose. One more, I just need to get the dog one and then I've got all the insults. Have you stopped wearing diapers yet? <laughs> Why, did you want to borrow one? I've heard you were a contemptible sneak. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I just need to get the dog response now, and, and I've got there all the There are no uh, words for how disgusting you are. Yes, there are. You just never left them. Yes, there are. You just never learned them. Oh, that's good. Apparently, I sounded really wow. quiet last night You're in five minutes at Freddy's. I can't the, the points where I jumped. That was probably the only part that didn't sound so quiet. I think my brother Stopping probably even heard me in his room. dangerous to your health. <laughs> my name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog oh, that was smarter than you. Oh, you rubber! You are glue. Pirates are mean. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. I am rubber. You are glue. This is the end for you, you gutter crawling cur. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. Ah, so good. I hope you're having a good day, dude. Do. Move out of the way, or I cut Simon the Sorcerer, oh, that was a good one. Yeah, I will. I think I have a copy of the first Simon the Sorcerer and the second one. Um, I'm probably going to play the third one because that was in 3D and it was quite terrible to me. My like name is one. Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare the to one was die. Kind of so -so. The first one was good. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. Oh, I am rubber, you are glue. This is something I always get with these parts. So always there's one I can't get off them until ages and ages and ages. You fight like a dairy farmer. Oh, I am rubber, you really? are glue. Really? Isn't it a dairy farmer one? I remember on the uh, Xbox you had a achievement called Speed Demon. 
if you wanted to get all of these insults in that one, you couldn't really do it. It would, it would really take ages to do it. You had to kind of skip to get probably half, probably even not that. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. You fight like a dairy farmer. How appropriate. You fight like a cow. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. I want that one last insult. I'm going to try leaving that dog one and ask it a bit later on. Why not? Ask it straight away. Stopping a pirate can be dangerous to your health. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. My handkerchief will wipe up your blood. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. My cat's in here. What is he doing? I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I'm shaking. I'm shaking. Come on, honey, you've got to know the answer to that one. Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. Oh, I am rubber. You are glue. Wow, you're good enough to fight the sword master. What you be wanting, you scurvy lover? My name is Guybrush Threepwood. Prepare to die. I once owned a dog that was smarter than you. I see this one. Last they second. must have taught you yes. everything you know. That's it. Got them all. All insults. I'm not gonna take your insolence sitting down. Your hemorrhoids are flaring up again, huh? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Nobody's ever drawn blood from me, and nobody ever will. I'm shaking, I'm shaking. I got this scar on my face during a mighty struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. I got this scar on my face during a mighty <laughs> struggle. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. Wow, you're good enough That's to fight really the sword, sword master. All the insults. Done the training, got all the insults. On to the sword master. The next one I'm going to do is treasure hunting, and then I'm going to do the yeah, robbery as well. <laughs> If you look at this, this is how the original always looked, and it always used to look like they were just dancing on the spot. Whereas now, she's just standing there. <laughs> how dare you approach the sword master without permission, which I surely didn't give you. My name is Guybrush Threepwood. I've come to kill you. Nothing like being honest. I can tell by the sarcastic expression on your face that you've been fully trained by Captain Smirk. Let's get this over with. My wisest enemies run away at the first sight of me. Oh, no, I can get the breath in the room they even point your breath. I was missing one, I didn't realize. I wanted to make sure you'd feel comfortable with me. Hey, well. Now I know what filth and stupidity really are. Wait, what? She said, now you know what something stupid you really are. I'd be in real trouble if you <sighs> ever nice used them. She said things. Let's look at what you said. 
I've got the courage and skill of a master hey, swordsman. Hey. That's my drone. <laughs> I'd be in real trouble if you ever used them. You can forget to see you throws all the insults. No one will ever catch me fighting as badly as you do. You run that fast? My last fight ended with my hands covered with blood. I hope now you've learned to stop picking your nose. My tongue is sharper than any sword. First, you'd better stop waving it like a feather duster. My sword is famous all over the Caribbean. Too bad no one's ever heard of you at all. I give up. You win. Well, I hope you're happy. You can go back and brag to all your friends about how you beat the sword master. You'll need proof. Uh, Here. You this should need convince to get them. That monkey. Really do. been had. This is no map. It looks like dancing lessons. This shouldn't take too long. Hours pass. <laughs> I guess I should put all this dirt back now.
pretty sure in the original game the clock used to actually change the time and the time reverse would be I think. I can't remember if it did actually do that. That might be Monkey Island 3 I'm thinking of though, I think. Important notice, these dogs are not dead. They are only sleeping. No animals were harmed during the production of this game. That's the old yeah, message you think about as well. I do love the fact how you can switch between the uh, old game and the uh, original game. Oh, and the remake, sorry. Uh, old game and the original. This looks like a job for Fester Shine Top. <laughs> no. Not the red button. It's a big, ugly, hairy yak wearing some wax lips. I can't move it. I can't move it. Nope. I'll need this. I must be nuts. It's beautiful. And you see there's two pictures at the top here as well. That one originally. Oh. There. There's only one picture in there. I can't do it all day. That should hold him for a while. If only I had a file, I could get the idol. Mint. How refreshing. Thanks. So, have you come to release me? Who are you? My name is Ores. 
At least I think it is. I've been in here so long I can hardly remember. You gotta get me out of here before I lose my mind completely! Can't you see? I'm innocent! But why are you in jail if you're innocent? I was framed! I didn't touch the stupid flowers! What flowers? The yellow conish in dormy flowers in the forest. It's against the law to pick them. So, uh, how's the food in there? Oh, you know, the usual. Slop, grog, gruel, rats, bugs, and body lice if I can catch them. I have a carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made, even though she knows I detest carrot cake. Actually, the cookie the bar is an old friend of mine, and sometimes he sneaks me food, like pork trimmings, mostly feet and lips. But once in a while, he brings this really odd rump roast. What was so odd about the rump roast? Well, it's the only rump roast I ever seen with a prehensile tail. So who'd want to frame you? I don't know who exactly. I think it was a conspiracy. And if there's one type of piracy I don't like, it's Cole's piracy. Would you happen to have a file? You think I'd be in here if I did? All I have is this carrot cake my Aunt Tilly made me. You can have that if you bring me something to get rid of these rats. I can't stand carrot cake. Hey, this might work on the rats. Thanks. Here's the cake. Got the file. That was a close one. I'm probably playing through this. At least really I got the quickly. idol. But I'm not done you know with you yet. You know how to play the game. Uh oh. Thought you could get out of here with the idol of many hands, did you? Look, I can explain. So can I. You poisoned the governor's pet poodles. They're just sleeping. Broke into her house. The door was unlocked. And stole one of her most valuable pieces of art. No, you've got it all wrong. Oh, really? Well, let's hear your explanation. I was just gonna borrow it. Ta! What's going on here? I caught this hoodlum making off with your idol, Governor. He says he was just borrowing it. That's right, I loaned it to him. What? You heard me, Fester. 
The real question is, how did he get in here while you were on guard? I, uh... Oh, just go away, Festa. I can handle this. Hmm. I'll deal with you later. Sorry about him. He's new. Hmm. I'm Governor Marley. Governor Elaine Marley. So, you... She definitely looks a lot better in the, uh... Gosh. Gosh. Relax, Mr. Threepwood. I know why you're here. Believe me, you're not the first who's tried. She looks like she has blue eyes in the original as well. Jeepers, that... My lookout told me of your arrival. I've wanted to meet you ever since I heard your fascinating name. Tell me, Guybrush, why do you want to be a pirate? You don't look like one. Your face is too... sweet. <laughs> I see. Well, you're obviously not in the mood for idle chit-chat, are you? I suppose you've got many more exciting things to do? I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Threepwood. Bull. <laughs> I really wish I knew how to talk to women. Where do you think you're going, Throom Wade? Excuse me, Mr. Shine Top, but you're blocking the doorway. I think you need to cool off. Hand over your sword. Uh oh. This is the end of the road, my little pantalooned pal. Your troublemaking days on Melee Island are over. My plans for the governor are far too important and much too near completion to risk letting a would-be pirate like you get in the way. So long, Mr. Spice Cake or Droop Face or whatever your name is. Spice Cake. <laughs> hmm. This might actually turn out to be a pretty good day. I guess I'll be with the sword. Actually, stay in the water for ten minutes. This one will do. For the achievement of, uh, I can hold my breath for ten minutes. Since I've been always quotes, that's you know, one of his service. This boy. I'm so confused. Hey, what are you doing, just standing around? The governor's been kidnapped. What? By whom? The Chuck's got her on that ship that just sailed off. He caught her alone when she came down here to rescue you. Well, I'm afraid we've seen the last of her. I'll go get a crew in a ship and go rescue her. That's not gonna be easy, you know. The Chuck's taken the governor back to his hideout on Monkey... I'm afraid that no pirate on this island is brave enough to follow him there. But hey, good luck. Oh yeah, I almost forgot. Uh, they left this note. You can have it, but I don't think you'll like what it says. Oh, Governor. Why did you have to risk your life for me? Maybe you cared for me more than I thought. Just as I now realize how much I care for you. Now, it's my fault the governor's in this mess, and I swear I'll get her out of it, even if I have to sail to Monkey Island myself to get her.
I like Ace the <laughs> the governor's been kidnapped. What? That's ridiculous. Oh, no. This looks bad. Very bad. I'm getting a ship and a crew together to go rescue her. Hmm. I have a feeling I'm going to regret this, but count me in. I'll meet you at the dock. I haven't this one for a minute. When you, uh, when I watched the Pirates of the Caribbean's first one, that film, when it was all ghost pirates, it really reminded me of, uh, Montan 1. Hey, Ian Go. Meanwhile, having just returned from Melee, LeChuck and his crew find their old hiding place in the underground here, rivers of Monkey place. Island. And drop Down anchor. beside where the monkey is. I'll tell you about that bit later when that chapter comes sir, back up. I just stopped by to congratulate you on your kidnapping mission. Captain? Captain, are you alright? <laughs> Never felt better. And how fares our prisoner? Ah, yes, the, uh, prisoner. <laughs> we had a little... trouble. Trouble! No, 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 nothing to worry about, sir. Everything's under control. She escaped a few times. But we've got her locked up in the brig. No one's getting in or out of there. For your sake, I hope not. <laughs> With years of planning almost destroyed by my death, I'm not taking any chances now. You took care of Mr. Threepwood then? Guide Brush Threepwood will not be a problem. At this very moment, he's 20 feet underwater. Probably bloated up like a fattened pig. His eyes being eaten out by crabs. Fish. Pecking oh, at his no, no, I said Kinda I was going to play Monkey Island. Uh, I should have said it was the secret of Monkey ah, Island, which is what the original game yes was sir. called. I just always call it Monkey Ugh. Island 1. Sure does it that. This now, is the one I was on about. Check the on series. The I have uh, Make the second sure game, and I also have the third game tight. of this. Aye, aye, Captain. Which I will be playing as well. I absolutely love this game series. It 
is a very nice game. I really, really like it. It's, uh, every time I press F10, you get to see the how the original game used to look on the Amiga. This is how it used to look. We have all these here. Um, so I'm gonna use pulley <laughs> like that. If I switch back, you see it like this. This is like uh, the re remastered version of it. Special edition. My favourite one in the series has to be uh, my clan too. Oh no, you didn't really have many op many ways of dying. I mean, there's a few couple of ways if you didn't know how to play the game, but it's hey, straight forward right, point visitors. and click adventure game. Who are you? The governor's been kidnapped. What? That's preposterous. Oh really? Take a look at this note they left. Oh no. This is horrible! What are we going to do? We could get a crew together and sail off after them. <laughs> what an idea! Now, if we only had a captain. Well, what about me? Ha! You! Oh, the human is going to be great. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> What's the humor in this game? That's a good one. Hey, I'm serious. This is definitely really? done very, very well. Really? Okay, let's see you prove it. Walk this way. Okay, go like this part. This part's pretty good. There's something in here that I want to show you. Something horrible. Something so horrible that I stay awake at night just thinking about it. But I don't mean to scare you. I'm sure a big brave guy like yourself will have no problem facing this monster. <laughs> After all, it's much smaller than the beast that bit off my hands so many years ago. Arr, 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 arr. Let's just hope you're quicker than I was. Oh, I just remembered something. I never did get around to feeding him this week. Ha 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 ha! Silly me! I'll let you open this last door yourself. Just let me get out of your way. Wait. <laughs> Getting cold feet? No, I just don't know what I'm supposed to do. You're supposed to open that little door. And if you're brave enough, touch the beast inside. Oh, is that all? Okay, go ahead. If you've got the guts. <laughs> You'll be surprised what this actually is. It's really, really hilarious what it turns out to be. <laughs> I don't believe it. <laughs> you are a brave man after all. You faced the beast I've feared all these years. You had the guts to do what I never could. I feel like such a coward. I'm not good enough to be on your crew. I'm not even good enough to swab your dicks. <laughs> oh, come on, Mr. Uh, Meathook. He's Mr. afraid Meadook? of parrots, which is hilarious. You're a big, because parrots strong, being the whole, guy with you know, a great tattoo. Type of animal that make parrots talk. tend to have. I want to see. Ha! Yeah, uh, maybe later. Anyway, you can swab my decks anytime. <laughs> really? Sure. <laughs> I could still be. <laughs> oh. 
thank you. Thank you. I won't let you down. <laughs> Hey, maybe I'll get a chance to show you my whole tattoo oh, routine no, when we're at sea. Oh, deck. Wow, um, this is sounding better and better all the time. We need to swap the deck on a pirate ship. Hmm. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. What possible use could that have? I don't know about that. Works both ways. <laughs> That's some chicken. Right, so that two pirates for my crew. Okay, one more, and then I need a ship. <laughs> Definitely. Now here's the fun challenging part. <laughs> This stuff is eating right through the mug. <laughs> How can we do that? That's what the game was up to. Yeah. Get anything out of that mug. It just it's not really much of a mug anymore. Right, uh, I need to back and do that again because that is stepping up me a little bit there. I'm more used to using it on the Amiga when you just go pick, 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 pick. <laughs> Keep walking that way. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the other one? Where's the other one? There's this one. This quick bit is really interesting. You have to get a uh, some grog, but grog pretty much uh, dissolves for you. Let there be no way to do what. <laughs> you usually could do this with just a couple of mugs. Basically, trying to get this, hey, Greg, this uh, drink. drink that people put drink that soul free metal Yikes. to do this bit. <laughs> wow! 
And to think I used to drink that stuff. I'm free! Oh yeah, thanks. <laughs> if there's anything I can ever do for you. Well, actually, there is something. I'm looking for brave people to join my crew and sail off to Monkey Island with me to rescue the governor. She's been abducted by the fearsome pirate LeChuck and is being held against her will somewhere in his secret hideout. I see. Well, Jess, hmm. LeChuck, you say? Well, Jess? Yes, of course. We must sail to Monkey Island and... Oh, hey, look behind <laughs> yeah. you! I three had a monkey! Definitely. I can't believe I fell for that. Pretty good trick, though. Let's see if I can get the bit in the shop that I need to get. I can't hey, to to him where'd there. you go? I hike halfway across the island to try and get you a reservation with the Swordmaster, who, by the way, says you can go jump in the lake. And when I come back, whew, you're gone. See if I ever do you a favor again. What do you want? I think I'd just like to Yeah, I get to talk to the, uh, Oh, man. be my guest, Because he, he can't seem to keep his hands still. I love that fellow, though he's so irritating as a character to uh, have to try and get past him and stuff, but the fact that he does all that. <laughs> Although poor Stan, he does get some horrible stuff happen to him. Always bad stuff happens to him. Not so much horrible, but it's bad. <laughs> I remember who that character is now. It's been a while since I've played Skyrim. Howdy! I'm Stan of Stan's previously owned vessels, and I'd stand on my head to make you a deal. What sort of craft are you looking for? Big, fast, slow. You want it, I got it. And if I don't got it, I'll get it. This is an old game as well, this. Not happy. But I know you're gonna leave here happy today. How do I know? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, take a look around. I don't think I did because I didn't do a lot of the so uh, side quests. What are you interested in I looking at today? I do have Skyrim on my PC now, so I really should probably try and play that at some point as well. Something not too expensive, but built to last. Affordable quality. Hey, that's my motto. I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. Now I can see you're a no-frills kind of guy. But I can also tell that quality means a lot to you. I mean, just look at the way you dress. Rugged, like this baby. She comes from a land far to the north, where the sea is as unforgiving as the men are tough and... Hey, you wouldn't happen to be from there, would you? You just seem to have a sort of Nordic quality about you. Anyway, we're talking about a real value here. What kind of price range were you thinking of? Actually, I was hoping to get one on credit. Sorry, kid. Neither a borrower nor a lender be. That's just old Stan's philosophy. 
If you've got a job, the storekeeper in town might extend you some credit. Then we have something to talk about. Unless, of course, you've already got some other means of financing. On second thought, this may not be the ship for me. Well, heck, I can understand that. Nothing wrong with being indecisive. Because <laughs> he keeps waving his arms like time. this and trying to talk. So, what else can Cause I show you? Sales, man. Actually, I'd like to go think about it some more. Sure, sure, think it over. I don't want you to feel pressured or anything. Bye now. I forgot to give you my card. And here's something else to remember me by. A compass? An extra strong magnetic compass. With your picture on it. <laughs> That's right. It always points directly back here. So if you're looking for a good deal, you know where to go. I'll be right here when you come back. But I can't guarantee that any of these ships will. Right. They're moving fast today. Yes, oh. sirree. Can't hardly what keep anything in stock. He'll be back. Well, I don't know what happened there. Um, whoops. Might have timed this about there. Uh, I can't remember what the command is to get you um, find out. Oh, it did it itself, that's good then. Uh, yeah, Nightbot's a bit funny like that. Usually it's supposed to do, like, warn you once or something. It's weird. <laughs> uh, so, I need to go to the shop. It's always handy to have Nightbot, though, because there are some people that do just do it because they can. <laughs> Wouldn't know about a friend, I mean, Nightbot's only a little robot. He just sits there and goes beep boop beep boop beep boop. <laughs> try and get it to the point where I get to uh, the next chapter. It never fails. I step away from the counter for two seconds and some idiot's already ringing that stupid bell. <laughs> what do you want? I'm interested in procuring a note of credit. Yeah, yeah. I, they do uh, exist. Uh, Nightbot's one job. of them. I think there is another one. I can't think what it's called. I think it's called Kevin Bot or something. It means with a K. Um, yes, of course I do. They're very handy if you All don't right. have a lot of viewers yet. I'll get one of my notes Obviously and we'll once, fill it out. Once I do get more people watching, I will probably end up getting more uh, moderators for my stream. <laughs> And let's see here. What did you say your occupation was? One, two, three. Was it four? One, two, three, four, and then there's four that way. I clean ships over at Stan's used shipyard. I haven't seen a clean ship over there in years. You're either lying or you're just yeah, a crummy yeah, worker. Yeah, yeah, people. Either way, 
I don't like what any does so much. I mean, there are the occasional people that tend to probably spam certain stuff, like they'll probably swear or kick off and stuff. Like, you get the ones that just randomly come on and instantly go, Oi, you look like this, blah 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 blah. Three, four, one. One, two. One, two. One, two, three, four. One, two, what three, else do you four, want? one. I'm looking for the sword master of Melee Island. Look, I told you she doesn't want to see you. Maybe if you asked her again? Hmm. I guess I could hike all the way over there again. Be right back. And don't touch anything! Oh no, I don't want to click that. I have a bloody hint. Um, let me see what the control was for. Just pull. Pull is why S is push. Okay. I'm so used to the fact that I used to have a Xbox controller with this one because that's what I played it on. Do we know S is for? Uh, Do you know when I used to play that part? That part used to always get me with the whole pushing and pulling part. I still might make my flaws here and there, but because I'm doing all in one go. <laughs> Uh, I don't get that. I, I get a cat that likes to jump all over everything. Um, thankfully she's actually behind me over there, sleeping on my bed. Because um, I put my dressing gown on my bed, so she's, she loves sleeping on that. So I just kept her very, very calm and off my desk. Otherwise she likes to come around here on a keyboard and just sit down. And sometimes even she, uh, she likes to touch people, even if it doesn't make sense. Like to touch people. I think uh, yesterday she typed no 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 to someone <laughs> in Teamspeak. Howdy! Great to see you again. I knew you'd come back. Everybody does. You know why they come back? Just look at all these ships. I've got something for everyone. Come, I take a look around. I could always remember how to do this, but you have to get him to want to sell you the ship that you want cheaper. So, Persuasion what else could I show you? Without telling him I want it cheaper, you have to make him think you would want it. Really have that much to spend. Have no fear. Every ship I sell is a bargain. But if you're looking for a real steal, I've got just the boat for you. Walk this way. This here is the famous Sea Monkey, the only ship ever to make it to Monkey Island and come back with anyone aboard left alive. Or should I say, anything 
You see, the previous owners of this ship were two adventurous pirates. They set off, like many before, to find the legendary secret of Monkey Island. And like many before, they disappeared forever. Their fate? A mystery. Almost as mysterious as how this ship returned to Melee Island without a single human aboard. Some claim it was sailed back by a crew of chimps. Chimps? There aren't any chimps in the Caribbean. Oh, shut up. It makes a good story. Anyway, this baby's mine now. That is, until someone makes me an offer. How much would you like to spend? Oh, no more than 172 pieces of eight. Look, <laughs> this is a Welcome very back. reasonably priced ship, but not that reasonable. I doubt you're carrying enough cash on you for this transaction. You wouldn't happen to have any other means of finance, would you? I got credit from the storekeeper. Will you take it? Hey, of course. Your credit's always good at stands. It doesn't matter if you've had credit problems in the past. Divorce, bankruptcy, chronic gambling mishaps. Mm -hmm. I mean, who am I to judge, right? If the storekeeper trusts you enough to give you a letter of credit, then you must be an honest man with a steady income, right? Uh, right. Let's get down to brass tack, shall we? I know you want it. You know you want it. And I know that you know that I yes, want I to sell it, so... I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Okay, okay. 4,000 pieces of eight. Sure. I guess we can start out at the bottom. I got all day. I'm going to be getting a whole new shipment next week. So you got me over a barrel. I've got to sell this baby, even if it means losing my shirt. I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? Well, how does 3,000 pieces of eight sound? I think we're working in the wrong direction here. I know you can try harder than that. Just tell me, what would it take to get you to sail this ship away today? I'd like to make you an offer. Great. How much? All right, 5,000, but that's my final offer. That's <laughs> a little bit more like it, but not much. I know you can try <laughs> harder than that. You realize, don't you, that they just don't make them like this anymore? Forget it. I don't need this boat anyway. Now wait a second! Don't go...